The Snow Queen Story 1 The Mirror and Its Pieces Once there lives an evil troll. One day he makes a mirror. In this mirror all beautiful things seem small, and all ugly things seem even uglier. Good people look ugly in it too. Once the mirror breaks and its pieces scatter all over the world. Some little pieces get into people's eyes. A person with this piece begins to see only bad things in everything. Some pieces get into people's hearts. It is very bad. The heart turns into a piece of ice. The evil troll is laughing. He likes it very much. Story 2 a boy and a girl. In a big city with many people and houses, there live a boy and a girl. The families are very poor. The children have a tiny garden on the roof of their house. They grow flowers in it. The boy and the girl love each other like a brother and a sister. Their parents have two big vases with beautiful rose bushes. The boy and the girl visit each other. They sit on a little bench under the rose bushes. They always have a wonderful time there. Once Kai and Gerda sit on the bench and read a book with some lovely pictures. Oh, says Kai suddenly. Something stung me in the heart, and I have something in my eye. Poor Kai, these are the pieces of the troll's mirror. Now his heart is going to turn into a piece of ice. In winter, Kai goes sledding to the city square. Suddenly, he sees a big sleigh. It is riding across the square. Kai ties his sled to the big sleigh and rides after it. The big sleigh begins to ride faster and soon turns round to a side street. The boy tries to untie his sled, but he can't. Suddenly the big sleigh stops and someone stands up. It is a white, tall woman, the Snow Queen. Nice ride, she says, but you are cold, and the woman kisses Kai. Oh, her kiss is as cold as ice. Even Kai's heart becomes cold. He forgets Gerda, his parents, and friends. Story 3 The Flower Garden on the Old Woman Who Knows Magic Kai doesn't come back home. Everybody thinks he's drowned in the river outside the city. One day in spring, Gerda runs to the river. Is it true that you have my friend? asks Gerda the river. Take my red shoes and give him back to me. The girl takes off her shoes and sits into a little boat. Then she throws her red shoes into the water. The boat is not tight. It begins to drift slowly with the stream. The boat drifts farther and soon it comes to a garden with a little house in it. An old woman comes out of the house. She helps Gerda to get out of the boat. Then the old woman takes the girl into her house. There is a basket full of cherries on the table in the house. Gerda begins to eat the cherries. The old woman starts to brush her hair and Gerda forgets Kai. The old woman knows magic. The next day she lets Gerda play in her flower garden. A lot of days pass. One day the girl sees a beautiful rose in the flower garden. 
She remembers about the roses in her little garden at home and about Kai. What am I doing here? she says. I need to find Kai. Do you know where he is? she asks the roses. Is he dead? He is not dead, answer the roses. Then Gerda runs to the garden gate, opens it and begins to run along the road. Soon she feels tired and sits on a large stone. Suddenly she sees that it is late autumn already. Story 4. The Prince and the Princess Gerda sees a big black raven on the snow in front of her. Caw, caw, hello, he says to the girl. The raven asks Gerda where she is going alone. She tells the raven about her life. Then she asks, Do you know where Kai is? The raven answers, Maybe in our kingdom there is a princess. She wants to get married. But she wants to marry a clever man. Once a young man comes to the palace. He comes on foot. His clothes are poor. He comes to the gate and sees many guards and servants. He says, It must be so boring to stand here on the stairs. Then he meets the princess and begins to talk to her. So he likes her and she likes him. My fiancé, a crow, lives in the palace. I know the story from her. It's Kai, says Gerda. Oh, please take me to the palace. Do you think that you can go to the palace? Wait, I need to ask my fiancé first. Wait here, said the raven and flies away. He comes back in the evening. The raven begins to call. Call, call. My fiancé can take you to the palace through the back door. And the raven takes the girl to the prince's bedroom. In the bedroom there are two beds. They look like two lilies. In the first bed the princess is sleeping. Gerda hopes to find Kain in the second bed. She calls his name loudly. The prince wakes up and turns his head. It's not Kai, Gerda begins to cry and tells him her story. Poor Gerda, says the prince and the princess. The next day they give Gerda new shoes, a muff and a beautiful dress. They also give her a gold carriage. The prince and the princess help her get into the carriage and say, Goodbye, goodbye. Story 5. The Little Robber Girl Gerda drives into a dark forest. In that forest, robbers live. They see the gold carriage and want to rob it. Gold, gold, they shout. The robbers stop the horses and take Gerda out of the carriage. What a plump girl, says an old woman with a long beard. And she takes out a big knife. Oh, she shouts suddenly. Behind her back, there is a girl. She bites the woman's ear. You're a bad girl, shouts her mother. She will play with me said the little robber girl. Then she hugs Gerda. Don't make me angry and you will be safe. Are you a princess? No, answers Gerda and tells the little robber girl her story. The little robber girl takes Gerda to the robber's palace. The girls have dinner and go to a pigeon house in the corner. There are a lot of pigeons there. These are my pigeons. And this is my bar, says the little robber girl and shows Gerda a big reindeer. It is tied to the wall. Every evening 
I tickle his neck with my knife. He is afraid of that. Soon the little robber girl falls asleep. The pigeons tell Gerda. We know where Kai is. He is in the plant with the Snow Queen. Oh, my dear Kai, cries Gerda. In the morning, she tells the little robber girl about that. She looks at her for a moment. Then she goes to the reindeer and says, I will let you go. You can run to Lapland, but take this girl to the Snow Queen. The reindeer is very happy. The little robber girl helps Gerda to sit on him. She even gives her a soft pillow. Gerda cries with happiness. I hate it when people cry, said the little robber girl. She opens the door. The reindeer begins to gallop quickly through the forest. Suddenly they see some beautiful red light in the sky. These are the northern lights, said the reindeer. Aren't they beautiful? Soon they come to the plant. Story 6 The Lapland Woman and the Finnish Woman They stop near a small hut. A Lapland woman lives here. She is frying some fish at this moment. The reindeer tells her Gerda's story. Oh, you poor things, says the woman. It is very far from here. You need to go to Finland. The Snow Queen lives there. I have a friend who lives there too. I do not have any paper. I'm going to write a few words on this dry fish. Give it to my friend when you come to Finland. Gerda gets warm and has something to eat. The Lapland woman writes a few words on a dried fish. Then she helps Gerda to sit on the reindeer. They begin to gallop again. Soon they come to Finland. They find a small hut. In this hut a Finnish woman lives. The hut has no door. They knock on the chimney. The Finnish woman reads the words on the fish and says, Kai is in the Snow Queen's palace. He likes it very much. It is because of the pieces of glass in his heart and eye. And she tells Gerda how to get to the Snow Queen's palace. Story 7 about the Snow Queen's palace and what happens next. The walls of the palace are snowstorms. The windows and doors are strong winds. There are more than 100 rooms in this palace. In the middle of a big snowy room there is a frozen lake with many pieces of ice. Kai makes words of these ice pieces. But he can't make the word eternity. He's trying hard. The Snow Queen tells him. If you make this word, I will give you the whole world and a new pair of skates. At this moment, Gerda comes into the room. She runs to Kai and hugs him. My dear Kai, I have found you at last. But Kai doesn't move. He's very cold. Then Gerda begins to cry. Her hot tears fall onto his chest and melt his heart. Kai looks at Gerda and begins to cry too. And his tears wash the pieces of glass away from his eye. He's very glad to see Gerda now. Gerda, my dear Gerda, I miss you so much. He looks around and says, It is so cold here. He hugs Gerda. They smile and cry happily. Kai and Gerda leave the Snow Queen's palace. They go to the Finnish woman's hut. She tells them how they can get home. 
the boy and the girl visit the Lapland woman too. After that, they go home. As they walk, they see beautiful spring flowers and green grass everywhere. Soon, they hear the ringing of the bells in the town. They come into the house. They go through a low door. Now they understand that they are grown up. The rose bushes look into the windows of their room. Their small chairs are on the roof near the bushes. Kind get the seat on them and hold each other's hands. Soon comes the summer. It is warm and beautiful. Kind Gerda are grown up, but they are children in their hearts.